out from your busy schedule to join us this morning to lay our last of that generation to rest. He was the last of my grandmother's children and he's the last one to pass. Um, according to your program, you should be having the tributes now and then. It goes straight into the service at 11 o'clock. So the first person on our tribute program is a poem by Rian Kachar Chance, his granddaughter. Some of his grandchildren are present here today. Alex, Melanie, and myself, Rianca, and others are viewing from abroad. Mud was someone who had no time to hold grudges with others, and lots of persons adored him for this. He always wished to pass peacefully in his home, surrounded by his family, and he was granted his wish by the Lord. Lauren Austin Wiley, also known as Mud or Mudfish, will be missed by many, but we know that he is in a deep sleep until the resurrection day. Sleep in eternal peace, Grandpa. Okay, we have Fish Chapon here.
should have been reading Psalm 19. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you have formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You swept them away, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger, and by your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before us, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days are passed away under your wrath. Our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are 70 years, or perhaps 80, if we are strong. Even then, their span is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone and we fly. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is to you. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O oh Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us, and as many years as we have been evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants, and your glorious powers to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and prosper for us the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. Psalm 19, 1-17. Our next tribute comes from the church pan side. And uh, just to let you know, if you don't, I, I, I know most of you would know that Uncle Owen was the pioneer behind this pan side of this church, encouraged by Father Ashton Francis. So let's listen to some of his teachings from the players of the pan side. Are they here?
that program was sung by Julian Prescott and Marcia Wiley. Mm -hmm. But some others have joined us in. So let's go. His nieces, three from Raw and one from Marie.
Hastan The faith in Jesus Christ We receive the body of our brother Lohan Pomeria Our brother Lohan who has washed the holy baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit let us therefore with confidence pray to God our Heavenly Father, the giver of life, that He will raise them to perfection in the company of the saints. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God of grace and glory, remember before you this day our brother Lord. We thank you for giving him to us. His funniest friends, to know and love as a companion on our only period. In your abundance of passion for so much more, you must fail to see them again of your Lord, so that you quite confident in the continuing of God's own love, until by your call, we are united with those who have gone before, to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ, Jesus, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. We brought nothing into the world and we take nothing out. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The eternal God is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms.
maternal grandparents, Norman and Geraldine Nemi Wiley. He's also the last who passed away. He had or has five children. Samuel Haynes, Richard Chance, Herbert Wiley, Austin Wiley, and Pauline. Daughter. I said he was, or he is my uncle, but he was more than an uncle to me. He was more like my second father, in that my parents emigrated to Trinidad. When I was about five years old, my brother and I, my brother was about four years old, and left my brother and I living with our grandmother. At that time, my brother was still living at home with his mother, and so he assumed father role for my brother and I. He was extremely kind and supportive of my brother and I. Now, at that time we lived in Ginger Village. And those of you who knew Ginger Village back then, it's a very, very difficult access. The road was terrible. And so, my grandmother, she loved, she loved Ginger Village. She was a midwife. And at that time, she was the major liver of babies in this whole Maracopa Valley and beyond. And so she was very seldom at home. And so my uncle, was the one, my aunt Sylvia passed away, she was also around, who looked after us during our assets. Now he became very concerned about the access to Ginger Village, because sometimes my aunt, my grandmother, would leave to go and deliver her baby one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. In those days, she had to walk. From the village to Carrere, Riley, Richmond Park. And in those days, vehicles were very scarce, very few vehicles there. And so, all those factors were very concerning to my uncle, and he encouraged for let's get out of the village. And so, bought a piece of land in Laco, where the present family house is. And Uncle Lowen was the person responsible. My grandmother provided the money, but my uncle, I recall, he was the one responsible for building that house. Supervising and getting back then, again as you before, building up houses, homes, for basically a process of self-help. Neighbors, you know, masons and carpenters will come on a weekend, chip in and help you to construct your house. And so he had a lot of friends in the industry back then, and he was instrumental in getting them to build a house. So all he needed to do, as we call is to give some food and drinks to those people. And he got a lot done. Today. Now, I was opposed to moving out of Ginger Village myself because I love where I grew up, had a lot of friends there. But when we eventually moved to La Corp, I could see that I could see what Uncle Owen was talking about. Why he didn't want us to move, the access to roads, the such as schools. And so we moved. Yeah. Our in the 60s, and he opened 
that garage in the yard, using half of the downstairs part of the garage. He took in a number of young men to learn the trade, mechanic. A number of young men. And so I recall after school, on my holidays, I would also be in the garage. I wanted to be a mechanic, but my grandmother would have money. <laughs> so, <laughs> in those days, we left primary school and we went straight into a profession, like masonry or carpentry and all that stuff. And I said, no, that's not going to happen. You have to go to secondary school. And so, I followed her advice, her advice is what is not anyone. Quite well. Now, Uncle Owen eventually went to St. Croy, continuing his profession there as a mechanic. But when he was a young man, he learned to play steel man. And so it's in St. Croy that he got back into and so he dies his mechanic income which pays steel bad at various hotels and they need some money. Now in St. Croy he got married and he had Thousand 
Stand for the correct. Pray that having opened to him the gate of life, 
morgen, morgen, die Ohren von Sabbat. We told what serve you in the past. In the shame, the eternal victory of Jesus Christ, O Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one Lord, forever and ever.
afternoon. Uh, I am the granddaughter of Mary Wiley. My name is Mary Wiley. And I will be reading uh, Revelation chapter 21, uh, verse 2 to 7. Um, and I, John, saw the whole city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and he shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe all, all away all the tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, sorry. Uh, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that the authors of the fountain of the water of life will. He that overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God. And he shall be my son. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
And Michael said that Mr. Wiley teaches the children to play the pan. But it seems as though he's not aware that Mr. Wiley made the pan. He said, Father, I'll get the jumps and I'll call the kingdom and we'll make the pans. And he made them. And a couple of years, because I spent 10 years in this place, in this parish, 10 years. Eventually, one, one day he said to me, Father, the children of the pan messing up my balance. You know, we chat about it. I pray with him. And so Mr. Wiley was a true pan man. One who not only took part in playing a pan to young people in this parish, but was able to mark the pans, tune the pans, and organize. And I just have to go by Mr. Wiley and say, Papi's coming up and on. What are you doing? And he would arrange and organize. I remember one year for Advent Mission. Mess for, but they're still gone in Annasville, Pinky. And so we have lost a great leader in this part of God's day. But God has a way of replacing. And so I'm not too sure if it's Rosman or Askasha or one of those young persons who play the part. God is calling to step up. Because Mr. Wiley, he laid the foundation. And now the others have to build upon it. Before we started this service, I asked in the vestry, what is going to happen to the pond? And one person said, Father, we just come together for today. But I want to say, the pan men and women in this place must not just come together when the opportunity arises. They must be together on a constant basis. Yes. You practice and you be prepared to play the pan. And to and live in this place during acts of worship. Yeah. It is important for Mr. Wiley's legacy to continue. Yeah. That's what I'm really saying. That's the point I'm driving in. And it is not just about the young people coming and probably getting an arranger to work with them. But the adults must support them. In order for Brother Wiley's legacy to continue, all age groups must be our goal. And you have to be strategic in this process. Ensure that you have the necessary resources, human, financial, and otherwise. Yeah. And I am one clergyman who believes that God has given every parish what it needs. Sometimes we have parishes where things are not going well. But if we take a deep look, we will discover that we have all the resources right here. It is a matter of pulling them together and using the resources wisely. And yes, I know there are times when you have to look outside. You have to go beyond yourself. But you must know when to go beyond yourself. And so, it is about remembering Mr. Wiley and remembering him 
in the best possible way. The still pan must continue. And so when harvest and on a Sunday morning when you play, when you accompany the organist and so forth, and it doesn't take a whole big side. All you need from time to time is a tenor man. And he plays it healthy, and everything will be good. And so this is the challenge that I am issuing, not just for the young people who play fast, but for the seniors as well in this congregation and in this church to support, to lend their support. And to remember Brother Wiley in this man. We must not let this fall apart. And now from a theological angle. In scripture we say the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. God gave you in this valley, upon this day, a man with various skills and talents. And he did not keep it to himself. He left this country but he still returned and sought to share his gifts and his talents. But not only the young people, but all of us. God equipped him. God empowered him. And now God has called him into his very presence. I don't know what's happening in heaven now. I don't know what is happening where Mr. Holy Spirit is now. But can you imagine if they call him and they ask him right now to organize a pan sign? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just imagine for a moment. And so the Lord gave and he took it. But in the vacancy that is created, there is an opportunity. An opportunity for someone to fill this vacancy. And so although the Lord has called him home. The door is now open for someone to step up, step in, and continue. And so the challenge is there for someone to take it up and to give it their best shot. But apart from that, it's not just about steel pan and culinary art and mechanics and so forth. There are many other skills and talents that God has given to persons in this parish. And if you can take a lesson from Brother Wayne and just seek to share that gift, that talent, with the young ones and help them to develop and harness that skill, that gift. That is the real message we must take as we say farewell to God Almighty. Let us seek to follow in his footsteps by sharing whatever gift, whatever talent that we have, we share it with the young ones so that they in turn will impart those skills and talents to the younger generation. And in so doing, we will have a continuation. But more importantly, we will have a variety of gifts that we can utilize to glorify God, 
to a, to a poor and to an evil one another in the faith. And this is what Christian living is all about. It is about giving. And first and foremost, we have to give God our temple, our bodies. First and foremost, temple. And when we give him our all, in such a manner, we will continue to give of our time. Because I know many of ours, Mr. Wiley, used to be in this place, practicing with the young people. And children are not so easy to go with these days, you know. <laughs> many of ours used to be here. Time. Talent and treasure. And so it is basically four T's that we have to give. And it is important that we give the temple first and foremost to God. So that the Holy Spirit who dwells in us and walking in us and through us will give us those creative insights and the right inspiration that we need to go about spending the giving of our time, of our talents, and of our treasure for the building up of the body of Christ. If we can take any message, any challenge from another one, this is giving. The giving of himself. His time, his talent, and his treasure. And that is Christian's treasure. And all of us are called upon to do that. But why do Use the pan. I know Inga use the voice. I know Bosman use the internet. And there are many others who make use of what God has given to them. Wiser. But we need to get more persons on board in the God. So that the body of Christ can be built up in the way that God will have it. And so I'm simply saying, as we say farewell to Lord, we are challenged to take a look at what he contributed and how he went about doing it. We are reminded that we ought to do likewise. In doing so, God will be pleased. This body, I know that your equilibrium is perfect because God is perfect and He has called you into His very presence. And he has clothed you with a transformed body, and that body is well balanced wherever you are. Fear them until we meet again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Does that stand? Let us with confidence and hope confess the faith into which we were baptized. As we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. 
I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand. Lord of Jesus Christ, we commend to you our brother Lauren, who was reborn by water and the Spirit in the Holy Baptism. Grant that he, that his death may recall to us your victory over death, and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in your Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way, the way you live and reign, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Now sing the hymn, The King of Love, My Shepherd.
the choir can now render your special song.
is 126, 1 to 6. After the third prayer being the eighth. Three are goodness, Lord, we have this bread and the wine to offer. The fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, they will become our spiritual food. Our from you, O Lord, and of your own we give you. Blessed be God Said, 
drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me.
the gifts of God for the people of God. Communion him.
The Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you that in your great love you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. And have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us a comfort and affliction, and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom where there is nothing, neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy. All your saints, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. We now have the commendation.
that even at the grave we make our song. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
Christ is risen from the dead. Have been done death by death and given life to those in the tomb. The Son of Righteousness is glorious for risen, giving light to those sat in darkness and in the shadow of death. The Lord will guide our feet into the way of peace, having taken away the sin of the Christ invoked the kingdom of heaven for all who believe in his name, say, Come, O oh, blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom of heaven. Into paradise with the angels lead you. At your coming, may the martyr receive you and bring you into the holy city, Jerusalem. No. Just like how it is. 
Você curte mais se ver, mano? É, 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 você Ó, cheio do legal, hein? Aí tá cheio do Everything seems okay. You know, I reverse back one beam. You know, I hit touch now, you know. You sure? Okay. Okay. Am I part of the Sorry, 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 sorry. 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 Uh, you yeah, you know, everyone the Father gives to me will come to me. I will never turn anyone who believes in me. He who raised Jesus from the dead will also give new life to our mortal bodies through his indwelling spirit. My heart, therefore, is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. And, at, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this. Happy are the dead who die in the faith of Christ. Henceforth, says the Spirit, they may rest from their labors, for they take with them the record of their deeds. Man, born of a woman, has but a short time to live. Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers. Like a shadow, he flees and never stays. In the midst of life, we are in death. To whom can we turn for help? But to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins. 
Lord God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins. And at Stop. our last Stop. hour, Stop. let us not fall Stop. away from you. No, 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 and our life through our Lord Jesus Christ we commend to Almighty God our brother Luen and we commit his body to the ground earth to earth ashes to ashes <coughs> dust to dust and we beseech you in your infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor that when and I your, job. your well beloved son shall come again in judgment, both this our brother Lewin and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. The Lord be with you and also, also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Almighty God, with whom still live the spirits of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity, we give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants, who have finished their course in faith, now find rest and refreshment. May we, with all who have died Richard? in the true faith what? of your own name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory. Um, Jesus Christ, grant to O oh Lord to all who are free the spirit of faith and courage, that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience, not sorrowing as those without hope, but in time for remembering your your great goodness, and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. And this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Rest eternal grant to him, O Lord. May he and all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Him, how great thou art. Yep. How great thou art. Oh. 
save our father's master from the dawn's setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all our life is over and our work on autism, and the rule is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the rule is called up yonder, when the rule The trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the faith and God shall gather, O oh, reward be on the shore. And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder. On that bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share, when his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll Let us labor for the master from the earth is setting sun. Let us talk of all his wonders of and care. Then when all of life is over and the work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll To God be the glory, great things he has done. The love in the world, the love in the world, he gave us his son. Who knew that his life was atonement for sin, and opened the
Afternoon. I have to go. Oh, 
Come, come, yo, yo. This is a favorite tune for Anglican. And shall it be? It's a favorite song for Anglican.
Okay, put it up on there. Jesus loves me every day. He's the one I know. Like if nothing happened, and then we're like, that's not what we expected. It's not the same man. Yeah, we need to say that one. Let go. We love you, but Jesus loves you. The sun is good there, they walk good where they walk.
Drive me talk about it, it Wayne. Don't move yet. I want Clement picture. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> God. Nobody checked to see that was here. Okay. That's it? Yes. Well, I mean, yes. I'm me. Joy, did you get one with me? Come up. Otherwise, I'll tell Clement. <laughs> you want me and he fight? Now, Joy, no. When I first met him in St. Croix, Aunt Susie was telling me, look at it. Oh, yes, ma'am. You know, you know.